guys, today we've got, um, not today, it's actually been doing this crap all evening, so, this time on DC Heroes Drawing, we have, um, the Atom. This form is Al Pratt. The first Atom. As we all know, the Atom can shrink himself down to the size of an Atom. Um, let's get this bigger so I can see what's going on. The Atom. This is the Golden Age, I believe. Okay, what in the world? What was up with that? Okay. Um, the head is an oval, the body is like a triangle, then a square, and then an oval for the part of the legs that I have right there. And then the arms are a circle, an oval, a circle, two lines, and then a square with fingers on it. Kind of made the glove a little bit too small on this on this side, but I can fix that later on. Um. Go over the atom a bit. Um, the original Adam Al Pratt first appeared in All American Comics number 19. He initially had no superpowers and said he was a diminutive college student and later a physicist who was depicted as a tough guy, a symbol of all the short kids who could still make a difference. Pratt was a founding member of the Justice Society of America, later gaining limited super strength and an energy-changing atomic punch. He died in the charge against Extant during the Zero Hour. So apparently, he didn't. He did not have the ability to shrink himself. He, was, he could just make an energy-charged atomic punch. That's why it was called the Atom. The Justice Society of America. I think that that might be the Justice League. Yeah, that's the Justice League. Or JSA is as DC Comics apparently the first team of superheroes in comic books history. The Justice Society of America was the first team of superheroes in comic book history. Conceived by the editor Sheldon Mayer. Sheldon, it's a funny name. Not Shelton, Sheldon. It's kind of, kind of, a, kind of a funny name there. All American Comics. That was one of the three groups that. One, that was one of the three comic book companies that later formed into DC Comics. All American Comics had the Green Lantern, Flash, um, Hawkman, and Woman. Um, the Atom. Lots of others. I'm not gonna list them out. But they had lots of people. Um. Then the Justice Society of America later changed, I think, to the Justice League. If I'm correct. Yet, yeah, during the Silver Silver Age, or sometime at the end of the Golden Age, it was changed to the Justice League. So... But he was one of the founding mem members of the Justice Society of America. Later it became the Justice League, of course. Um, Aquaman may have been part of... All American comics, I'm not sure. I'll have to check, but
Yes, there were three companies that formed together as DC Comics. I will look them up and tell you in our next segment. Um, kind of had enough of the Atom, but I'll tell you a little bit about the Ray Palmer version. Um, Ray Palmer, he, the Atom introduced during the Silver Age of comic books in Showcase number 34, 1961, is a physicist and, and university professor, Ray Palmer, named for real-life science fiction writer Ray and A. Palmer, who was himself quite short. Using a mass of white dwarf star matter, he fashioned a lens which allowed him to shrink down to subatomic size. Originally, his size and molecular density abilities derived from the white dwarf star material of his costume, controlled by mechanisms in his belt and later by controls in the palms of his gloves. Much later, he gained the innate equivalent powers with his own body. After the events of Identity Crisis, Ray shrunk himself to microscopic size and disappeared. Finding him became a major theme of the Countdown year-long series and crossover event. So, in other words, he shrunk and nobody could find him. So, that's really all I had to say. I guess I'll do Ray Palmer just for, like, a secondary line. But I don't plan on doing it right away, because... It's not that interesting to me. I think one Adam was enough. He looks pretty cool, but whatever. And before we go, I might want to add some little energy charging thingamajigs for his fist. And there we go. Just put in some squiggles like that. You've got yourself an energy charged fist very um, simple to do. Uh, see you later. This was episode 5, if I'm correct. Yes, 5. With the Adam out.